How's it going everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Justin and today I'm gonna show you my top five mods for your Honda Fit and I'm gonna do a cost breakdown of each mod that I go over. Let's get into it. Now I know that I just made a video on these right off the bat. These LED fog lights are treating me so well and I love them and that's why I'm putting them at the number five spot. Now these lights ran me at about $45 and that $45 gets you both sides of the housing and two halogen bulbs for each side. And the best part in my opinion is that if you drive a non-sport model, they include the entire wire assembly all the way from the fog lights into your interior with a switch so that you can install them if you don't have fog lights and I think that's pretty cool for number four I have listed my HKS high power exhaust and let me just show you how stoked I was when I first got this exhaust so nice though. <laughs> now this high power exhaust ran me about $220 from carid.com. I really like getting my parts from there because I know what I'm getting is legit. It came fairly quickly and it was super, super easy to install. As you can see way back there, there are two bolts that you need to unscrew. Come on man, focus and two of these hangers that you need to unhitch from the exhaust. This exhaust makes such a huge difference. It's not gonna sound all raspy and terrible. It sounds pretty good. In conclusion, this exhaust raises this car's presence on the road so much, not to mention that it looks awesome. Now for my third mod, I've chosen the cold air intake I have on my car. This is a DC Sports cold air intake and man does it sound good. I put this intake higher than the exhaust because in a low horsepower car I care a lot about getting it faster because it's, it's slow. So when I put my exhaust on I did notice a little bit of loss in low end torque. But with this one I only noticed gains. And man was it fun to hear my car roar down the street for the first time ever. This was the very first thing that I did to my car and there couldn't be a better starter mod for your Honda. Now this cold air intake ran me at about $100 and it's definitely a budget mod. It was a super easy install and I might just show you guys how to install it in a future video. Now for number three, this factory style black front spoiler. And man, do I love this thing. It just ties together the whole front of the car with the grill, the fog lights, and the lip, it just looks so nice. I can't stress enough how much I love this lip, but damn, this car is dirty. Which brings me to my last mod, and that is not even a mod at all. You can get used to an exhaust, and you can get used to a cold air intake. You can get used to more power, but what you can't get used to is seeing your car absolutely spotless. So my last mod is let's go get this thing a full detail. The car is all washed now. It looks awesome. I'm so glad I washed it. Ugh, it's been neglected and ugly and dirty for months. And this is my first time washing it and I'm so happy that I did. Don't forget your door jams. And the reason that I have this mod at my number one spot, you know, it's not even really a mod. It's just that you're never gonna get used to the difference that it makes when you wash your car after it hasn't been washed and it's been ugly forever. And this car wash only costed me like seven bucks. And that is dirt cheap. I know some of you guys are stuck inside, bored at the house. Go wash your car. Even if you drive a Toyota RAV4, wash your car. It's gonna make a huge 
difference in how your car looks. So those were my top five must-have mods for your Honda Fit. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. This video was really fun to make. Gotta wash my car, gotta spend some time with it. And if you enjoyed, like this video, it helps out a lot. Make sure to subscribe, and uh, I guess, as always, uh, peace out.